Good morning, everyone. My name is Hannah, and today my teammates and I will be presenting about a historical site in Malaysia. So as part of our group assignment, we were assigned to conduct the research about a historical site in Malaysia. So we chose Penang as our site. Among my teammates are Aishat from Maldives, uh, Duranga from Sri Lanka, and myself from Mauritius. So without further ado, I'll be passing to Aishat for the introduction. Thank you. Hi. So Malaysia is known for its wide array of vibrant attraction. Penang is a unique destination in Malaysia with a great historical importance. Therefore, our group decided to do this project based on Penang. The original name of Penang is derived from the word uh, from Mede, which translates to beetle and nut tree. It is for, known for the natural beauty and uh, unique culture and the food heaven, like no other place. Due to this, Penang has become one of the largest tourist destinations in Malaysia and a significant number of tourists in 2019 were recorded. Next, I'll pass to Hana for historical background. Thank you, Aisha. So now I'll be talking about the historical background. Next slide. So Penang's history starts off in the 16th century when the Portuguese traders were sailing far east for uh, the search of spices. After being named Pulau Pinam, uh, Penang soon became a landmark for traders due to its abundance of freshwater supply, and it also became a natural harbor for Indians, Arabs, Chinese, Dutch, and French ships. Next slide. Moving on to the year 1786, when Captain Francis Light, whose statue today stands in Fort Cornwallis in Penang, had securing the island from the new Sultan Abdullah of Kedah. The Sultan of Kedah ceded the state which was then under his control to Francis Light in exchange for British military protection from the Siamese. Francis Light then took possession of the island and renamed it as Prince of Wales. Next slide. On 21st October 1794, Francis Light passed away and the charge of Penang was taken over by Lieutenant Colonel Arthur Wilsley, Sir George Leith, and Governor Philip Dundas, who each took turn in ruling the island. Next slide. Moving on to 8th December 1941, during the Second World War, when Malaya was invaded by the Japanese and Penang was heavily bombed. Penang was living in fear with days of executions, torture, and horror during this time. And on 4th September 1945, the Japanese gave in to the British forces. Next slide. Finally, on 31st August 1957, Malaya gained independence and Penang became part of its 13 component states. Next. Now moving on to what has Penang become today. Next slide. So through the decades, uh, Penang flourished as a center for trade of tea, spices, china, and cloth. And the same island we started off as a male landmark is today recognized as Malaysia's second largest city by population and one of the most vital economic powerhouses in the country. And the administrative capital, Georgetown, is today a UNESCO World Heritage and is also a cosmopolitan city with multicultural heritage. Yeah. Next slide. So as you can see from the slides, these are the unique features that we have learned about Penang. For example, the tropical spice garden, the hoka food, stalls, beaches, uh, the Penang Bridge, mural arts, and also the temple rooms. Next, that's it for my presentation. I'll be passing to Duranga for the learning outcomes. Um, thank you, Hannah. Uh, and now I'll be talking about the learning outcomes. Uh, the experiences that um, we as a group have learned while researching on Penang is that Penang does have a very rich history and about the geological wonders of Penang. We also did learn about the culture and the vast variety of cuisine and street food that are native to Penang. Now, due to the diversity amongst us uh, members, we were able to have a more diverse insight and more diverse look into the history and views of Penang as well. And now I'll be speaking on the challenges that we faced as a group while doing this group presentation. Uh, the first main struggle was we were unable to physically visit Penang and like, experience the, the culture and the food due to the travel ban, due to the pandemic. And secondly, due to the different time zones, it was a bit hard to keep in contact with each, each other. And lastly, communication was made even more difficult since face-to-face um, -face meetings were not doable and occasional unstable connections. Uh, that's all for my part. And now I'll pass it on to Aisha for the conclusion. Thank you. 
so so to conclude as international students we have gained a lot of information about the malaysia's most renowned tourist destination despite the current pandemic uh visiting penang has uh, virtually has been a very fruitful experience for all of us and we still look forward to see physically penang one day and it's in our bucket list thank you So here are our references for this assignment.